I have this here DSLR camera and you can trigger it using a wireless remote control like this. What I want to do is trigger the camera automatically using the Arduino. I found online a teardown of this thing and uh, Arduino code to emulate the output. So I've got a infrared LED connected to pin 13 and that's all you need plus some code here. Code that I've got set up listens to the serial port when it receives a new line that's the enter key it prints out start and then it runs the output for the for the um, for the remote so this emulates the pattern from the original remote control it's just uh, this is what the signal looks like to fire this camera starts with 2 millisecond on pulse followed by 28 milliseconds off and then 200 microseconds on time followed by 1500 off microseconds 200 on and 3300 microseconds off and one more 200 microseconds on time and all of the on pulses are a 38 kilohertz modulation which just means that during this on time, it's actually a 38 kilohertz square wave during the on time. So we have a 38 kilohertz square wave turning on for 2 milliseconds, and then nothing for 28 milliseconds, and so on. That's all it takes. And then when I trigger it, it will print out milliseconds about every 10 on the screen. So I'll trigger the camera with the Arduino and then it'll take a picture of the serial monitor so I know how long the delay was from starting the signal to actually taking a picture. As you can see if I hit enter it takes a picture. Now this is a problem for me because it's too damn slow. It takes 37 milliseconds for this thing to finish sending the signal and then the camera takes about another 10 milliseconds to actually take a picture. And that's minimum, it's not the same every time. Sometimes it's about 50 milliseconds total, sometimes it's 100 milliseconds. So, I need to find a way to speed this up and as far as I can tell it doesn't respond if the timing of the signal pulses is altered. So I need a better trigger method. If you have any ideas or suggestions definitely put them in the comments or on the reddit post. If anybody has this same camera and can maybe test the wired remote that would be great.